So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Wii Flow on your newly modded Wii. This is only going to be a quick setup showing you how to get Wii, GameCube games and a few emulators going. But it'll get you started and I'll be doing a more extensive video down the road. So we're going to start off with downloading all the files that we need and then mounting your SD card into your computer. And you should format it to FAT32 with 32 kilobytes extra size. And then once that completes, we're going to open up the D Animal Master Pack zip file that we downloaded and copy over everything inside the SD folder to our SD card. This will take up to a minute. And then once that completes, we're going to update some of the apps that were on the D Animal Master Pack starting with Wii Flow. So open up the Wii Flow zip file and copy over the apps to your SD card. You're going to want to merge and copy and replace everything. And then we're going to do the same thing with Nintendo. A little different. We're going to copy over the Nintendo folder into the apps folder. Copy and replace. And then we're going to open up that folder on our SD card. Open up the loader folder and then copy over the loader doll, delete the original doll, rename the one we just copied over to boot, and then we're going to install a WAD manager. This is the one I like to use. Copy it over inside our apps folder on our SD card. And then we're going to copy over the WAD file, which is our Wii channel for Wii Flow. And that's that for our SD card. Now we're going to organize our ROMs. So plug in your hard drive or USB stick and then copy over everything in the USB and hard drive folder to your USB or hard drive. So you're probably going to want to pause and watch this very carefully because folder structure and fo file name is important. So we're going to start with Wii. Each game has to be in its own folder with the game name and its game ID at the end. Wii games are either an ISO or WBFS format. You're going to want to rename the main fo folder holding your Wii games to WBFS and copy it to your USB stick or hard drive. For GameCube, it's the same thing. Each individual game has to be in a folder with its game name with the game ID in brackets at the end. Rename the ISO to game and if it has two ISOs or GMC files, the second has to be named Disk2. Then you're going to want to rename the main folder to Games and copy that to your USB. Now for Super Nintendo or Nintendo or any other emulator really, you're going to want to edit the plugin configuration file or at least take a look at it to see where it wants you to place its ROM and its cover art for it to work in the Wii Flow app. So for Nintendo, it's F-C-E-U-G-X, and for Super Nintendo, it's S-E-N-S-9-X-G-X. -S so it gets a little tricky because you may not know what the name of the emulator is for the type of ROM that you're trying to launch. So what you want to do is look where the ROM folder is and also add under file type, usually a line and dot zip for zip or whatever file extension for the emulator you're trying to launch so once you do that make sure that it's all in the right place or else your Wii flow will not recognize it so again we're going to look for the SENS 9x add the dot zip under file type and look where it wants us to place the ROMs so what we'll do is rename our folder ROMs and place it into the SENX folder. Then for the cover art or box art we're going to use fuzzy rename tool to help us rename all our files so that WeFlow will recognize it. So extract the fuzzy rename tool and then you're going to want to extract your cover art 
I would recommend using the links in the description because they're designed to be used in Reflow. So extract it to your desktop usually. Depending on how many games you have, this can take a few minutes, but the links I've linked to are the complete collections generally. Go. Maybe Super Nintendo as well. So what the fuzzy rename tool is just pretty much adds the extension to the PNG file and renames it so it's exactly the same name as the ROM it's trying to be the box cover for. So make sure you add the check mark to add original extension and then you're going to browse to where you put your cover art. Then you're going to browse to where you put your ROMs. So for Nintendo. And you'll see it's already matched the names. And then you're gonna tell it where you wanna place it. We flow, box covers, NES. Okay. And then go. It'll look like it's not responding, but just let it do its thing. Depending on how many files it is, this can take a few minutes. I've sped things up, remember that. So we'll do the same thing for SNES, Super Nintendo. We'll look for the ROMs. It's already matched the names. Tell it where to put the pictures. We flow box covers snaz. Click go. Now this step is optional, but it's highly recommended. It takes a long time for the Wii to convert the pictures into a catch file. So what we're going to do is extract WFC, look for the Windows utility, open command prompt as administrator, copy the address, paste it, add the exe file that we're trying to launch, WF C We're going to copy the Wii Flow folder on our SD location, copy and paste, and press enter. So again, we pointed to the location of the Wii Flow folder on our SD card. This is converting all our picture files into a catch file so it launches quicker on Wii Flow. Now the first time you launch Wii Flow on your Wii, it'll take a long time because it initializes. Well, if you don't do this step, it will take hours, depending on how many games you have. So again, I would highly recommend doing this step. And even sped up. It takes a few minutes on my computer. This is going at 10 times speed. So we're going to safely eject everything and we're going to jump to the Wii. So we're going to throw our Wii in, our SD card in our Wii. And there we go. We're going to install the channel, Wii Flow. We're going to point to our SD card. It should only take a couple seconds. And now we have a Wii Flow channel. We're going to launch that. And as I said earlier, this will take a few minutes for you to for it to initialize. Be patient. 
So we're going to see if everything worked. Scroll to Nintendo, and there we go. Box covers and everything, looking nice and pretty. Now we'll do Super Nintendo. Once you run it, it'll run quicker the next time. It won't do that loading screen every single time. Now we're going to do our Wii. The Wii, we're going to have to download the box art. So make sure you're connected to the internet. This is a little buggy sometimes. Sometimes you'll have to restart your Wii for it to see the, the pictures or reset the catch on the Wii Flow. Sometimes you even have to download each cover individually, which is why I sort of like USB Loader GX for downloading the covers. And then you can copy over the covers to where Wii Flow looks for them. Same thing with the GameCube. You gotta download the covers manually, which it's easier to do so from the Wii than on your computer. But I do find the USB Loader GX easier to download game covers. Both look for the Wii and GameCube games in the same location, which is pretty convenient. But what's a pain is that sometimes the plugins looks for the ROM folders or picture folders in different locations and you have to look at in individual configuration files which is highly annoying so in the next video I'm going to be modifying the configuration files so that it all looks for the ROMs in one location that's going to be nice and easy so stay tuned for the next video on that I'm going to show you how to update the theme if you want to. This covers a lot of consoles. Just copy over the Refill folder that you got for your theme, which should be the same as Rhapsody, and copy and replace all the folders, files and folders. And you'll see the edits are still left the same on the plugin for the files that we made already which is pretty good. So we'll see what this theme looks like. I prefer it better, but if you don't have a lot of ROMs, then it's sort of pointless. background in my opinion looks nicer and you have an option to launch reware which is no longer available on the Wii store which I will be covering in the next video as well so hope you like it subscribe like stay tuned for more Wii videos and other console modern videos